So I was coming out my door, and I have the door like this, and he walks in the front door. And then I stood here for a minute like this with the door like that, and I'm just so tired of hiding, so I just stood here for a minute, and I thought he's not going to do anything, and, um... And um, I and so I'm standing here like an idiot. The dog wasn't there. Come here. Where I don't know. The dog was, I think, inside. And I just waited. And um, and I was an idiot standing here. So I said, I'm just waiting to make sure I don't have to jump inside behind the door. And I meant that in a you know in a light funny-ish way, and um, he walks to his door, and that was all I had said, and he comes, and as I'm locking up, he comes right in my face with his finger, right up to my face, and starts cursing, and um, and Literally, he was a big guy. It feels like he was just going to go, boom, push me right over. So I just clammed up. I didn't say a word. And as I walked down the stairs to leave, I said, how do you expect me not to call the police? And then we get to finish the sentence. And he comes... Charging down the stairs, right on top of me. I mean, in fact, his breath touched me, it was close enough. And I said, Chris, please help me, hoping he was listening. And, uh, and then he just went away. I got in the car, went to the state police. They told me I have to talk to Peekskill. I talked to Peekskill. And they talked to me for a long time. But I don't know if they did anything.